Ladies, this should be it, the right way round and starting again. And good morning, everybody. Oh, no, it's not gonna fall. It's very sunny day today, so the bathroom is going to feel a bit dark. Can I do anything about that? Not really. Today on the show, we're gonna discuss my secret seven, in fact, nine SPFs, all for different things, for oily skin, dry skin, aging skin, pigmentation, everything. And we're also going to be um, discussing one or two new products I'm loving. And we're going to be discussing what you do when you're feeling a bit flat. So that's it. Now, I just want to get one thing I need. Hold on a ticky um, for this. Great, got it. I can't not include a BFF. Good morning, Karen. Good morning, Leanne. Thank you for joining me. Um, I'm gonna start off with, I've got um, very puffy under eyes. So I'm gonna do a mask and I put some colloidal silver on first um, to try and help uh, here. But I had some, anyway, we'll just, we won't go there, but just I'm gonna cover it with a very good mask that's going to wake me up today and make me feel it's that Sunday morning mask moment. It's when I most enjoy doing a mask when you don't have any plans until about 11 because hopefully people have had a late Saturday night and you can sleep in and enjoy yourself. So I got that mask on. This is one of my favourite masks. It's Biologie Recharge and it's the energising, oxygenating, hydrating, making you feel much better mask. It's that kind of mask. Um, so quite a few of you are from um, Australia. And I think there you do have an education about SPF. But on my little tours of Trini London. Oh, by the way, before I forget, well, I'll tell you in a minute. But on my tours of Trini London, we went to Belfast. And lots of ladies there um, who probably, you know, the ones who have a paler skin, tend to wear quite a lot of fake tan and they just want to combat the pale skin with a bit of colour. And also there was a few people who went in the sun with quite a low SPF. So for me, there's an education here about why wear a high SPF. For those of you who, get, let's get honest here. Who amongst you watching now? Good morning. Let me just take off, everyone. Take off my shoes because for some reason they're making me very hot. The bathroom is getting like a sauna. Um, I'm just going to say good morning to all of you. Um, Karina, Tracy, good morning. Karen, good morning. Leanne, good morning. Abby, good morning. Joanna, Poppy, Dwin, Dw Dywin, Sarah, Ross, um, Barbara, Lynn, Tony, Sue, good morning. Oh, 13-year-old Sue's daughter. Hello, good morning, Deirdre, Lisa. Stephanie, I slept in my makeup last night. What is the best thing I can do today? Wash your face twice. Have a bit of a mask. Do some exfoliation, Stephanie. Um, I love that. Uh, Janka, good morning from Slovakia. Anne, Anthea, good morning. Can you recommend a slightly cheap alternative to Zellens SPF that I love, not the £55 price tag? I have lots of mixture, excuse me, of <coughs> prices of SPFs here and they're all really good ones. Ellen has done her mask this morning. It's 5 a.m. here in Toronto. Ramona, you're mad. Um, Katrina, good morning. Elizabeth, good morning. Love the zip bag. The lip gloss comes in. Thank you very much, Cassidy. Michelle, Emily, Alexis, good morning. When you hold products up, can you hold them up for a little bit longer for those who have dodgy eyes and need to focus? I'll do that. You can also take a picture with your camera. I sometimes do that when I'm watching a video. Um, Tony, Tony, good morning from Belfast. Deborah, Claire, Poppy. What can be done for red marks left after spots? I see lots of people asking this, but never see anything on it. I can talk a little bit about things I use for pigmentation, reducing redness. Um, I would say a very good product. So I'm gonna go, no, I'm not, you can't, you can't attract me, but is Clinical's Recovery Balm is a very good product. Um, good morning, Jenny. Louisa, hot after a run. Jill, good morning, Horinda. Hi, you were high SPF. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning from Cumbria. Changed my life, looking a 54 better than 44. Miss uh, Melissa, fantastic. Um, okay, visiting London on Tuesday. Have my Factor 50 ready, hoping the weather's nice. Now, ladies, if you are watching now and if you live close enough to London that you can get to London between Wednesday and next Saturday, we are doing, it's so exciting because I decided this a few days ago. So there's been so much work. Do I literally decided this four days ago, a West London pop-up and it's off Oxford Street. It's literally perpendicular to Selfridges. We couldn't be closer to Selfridges. Uh, it's on Duke Street at the very end and it's in 
um, a store which at the moment is called Jigsaw the Bluebird Pop-Up. Um, it's actually called the Do uh, Duke Street Emporium, but we're taking a whole part of the shop. There's a window, there's everything. And you, we're open from, uh, sorry, <laughs> just, we're open from 10 till eight. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. I'm gonna, I'm gonna basically be living at the shop. Open from 10 to eight. And this is an opportunity. We have our at-homes here, which are great. But with the at-homes, you book an appointment. Now you can still do that. So any of you, can I just say, who have booked an at-home appointment for um, where we are here, please know that it will now be in Duke Street and we'll try and get uh, through to all of you to let you know, but if I can do this and some of you are watching it, it really helps. Um, and you'll still have your lovely appointment with our wonderful makeup artists. Uh, we are going to be offering also masterclasses on Tuesday the um, I think Tuesday the 5th and Thursday the 7th, where it's about, you know, a number of women and we all put on our makeup together and we teach you how to put on the makeup and it's really fun. You might have followed on uh, our social media. We did one on, we did our first one on Wednesday and it was brilliant. These women were fantastic and some came with friends and some didn't. So that's happening. But also it's half term week and I wondered about putting this on at half term week and I thought to myself, you know, I went up and down Oxford Street with Lila yesterday and you know, that's a kind of joyful thing, just having a shop up with your daughter. So I thought to myself, if you have a daughter of the right age, we have a ton of mothers and daughters coming to Trinity London. So I thought, if you're on Oxford Street and it's half term, pop into Trinity London, pop up. We want to meet all of you, bring your stacks. If you haven't stacked yet, come and stack. But it's going to be exciting. There's fabulous Instagrammable things. There's a, a lot of our team there. There's Chloe there doing social media. I'll be there. Uh, Shasha will be there. Everyone's going to be there, basically. We're moving the office into the into the shop, but um, it's just to kind of pop up and say hello, and uh, I can't wait. So now on to SPFs. That's my news out of the way. All right, ladies, that's my news. But tell your friends, anyone who's thought, please, I want to come and see the brand because I'm scared to buy online, then that's the thing to do. Um, I'm going to go through all my... Uh, you double cleanse this morning. Well done. How can I stop pan dries wearing BFF and cream concealer, which I love. have tried several mascaras. Mm, I know, it's so irritating. SPF 50 all the way. All right, girls. So I'm just going to start my SPFs now, okay? And then we'll get back to um, some questions. Sorry, because there's so many of you on. All right. So today, ladies, we are discussing SPFs. And I do believe the importance of them. I have been terrible when I was younger with SPFs. I started off aged... Uh, 14 at school, I lay out some tin foil and I put on olive oil and I bake myself like a chicken. Um, that was in the many, many years ago, but it really, really ruined my skin. And as a result now, maybe that's a part, that and spots is probably two of the reasons I'm so fanatical about um, keeping my skin well. So if you are watching this and you're in your 20s, really consider that SPF is going to be the best anti-aging product you will ever use in your life. There is no other thing out there, there's no other claims higher than protecting your skin from the sun, which ages your skin more than anything. Second coming up quite close behind that probably I'm, I'm looking into, but so depressingly, is sugar. Oh, but we won't discuss that today. So um, I'm gonna go through, I might go through in the order in which I use them. Uh, in terms of the age in which we uh, use them. Um, who wouldn't do that, Tony? We were young and we would like to be tan. I know. Um, I know. Can I just say, I'm, I think I might do a pop-up in Sydney. My brother, I saw, had lunch on Friday, and I think I might go there in April and do a pop-up. So, get ready, ladies. I want you all the Trini tribe to help me. Um, in which order of skincare do I put my SPF? That's an incredibly good question. The last thing you put on your face. Um, and that's because uh, you need it to work the best and the ingredients to be on top of your face and it to work as a barrier. And if you've got other things on top, it's still working, but it's not your strongest bit of protection. There are some products which combine, like Trini London BFF, a bit of coverage and SPF, so that can be your last product. But if you then want to put a foundation on top of that, put it on top of your SPF. That's the only thing you'd put on top is, is something with color in it. So. Where am I going to start? What did I say? Aven. Aven. Great price, price products. I'm going to start actually quite inexpensive too. Um, I know, Poppy, I, I, we won't talk about sugar today. Uh, even after primer. Hmm. That's a very good question. Very good question. Um, I would say before primer, probably. 
yes before primer. It depends. There are a few really good primers. I'm going to also, I'm going to, oh, let me just, you reminded me to add one more SPF product into my bag which is this, which has no record on it, but I'm gonna tell you. There are one or two primers that have SPF, and this one has SPF 30. It's got no outside packaging left on it, it's by Morad, but I'm gonna put it in the mix, all right? And we can talk about that, Esther, of alternatives. Um, some of these don't, can act as a primer because they're quite mattifying. Um, Aven Clenos, SPF 50, and there are three ways that um, Aven do this SPF 50. They do an emulsion, they do a cream, and they do Clarinance, which is actually for an oily skin. So if you feel, you say, am, I, am I holding up long enough? If you feel your, your skin is really oily, it has in it glycerol laurate, it's kind of regulates excess oil. Um, and gives a sort of matte finish, but it also has a vitamin E precursor. It's a, you know, antioxidant vitamin E. And the texture of it, like that, putting it on, is going to rub in, and it rubs in relatively well, because this is a 50. Um, it leaves your skin a slightly bit paler to begin with, but it will all rub in, like that. There, can you see that? And it doesn't leave a shine there. It's matte. The smell is lovely Aven. Aven always smells delicious. It's not really fragrance very much, but it's a sort of slightly warm, sweet odor. Not odor, just a nice French cream. It's like Leon Release, all of those products. Great, and this is 15 pounds I got in Superdrug. That's number one, good morning. Um, Good morning, okay. Number two, let me go on to number two. Aha, this is going another direction, is SkinCeuticals. Now, SkinCeuticals do two SPFs. One of them, do I have the other one here? Is an SPF 50, and it comes, it's mineral defense, it comes in a slightly wider tube. Um, and let me just, see, can you see it properly there? Um, can you see that properly? It's got in it natural minerals. It has some products in it. There's something called Meroxyl XL, which SkinCeuticals uses, and it helps to filter out UVA and UVB rays. Uh, rays. And so it's broad spectrum. So when somebody says, just, um, this is quite an interesting one to know. If something is SPF 30 broad spectrum, it's like an SPF 50 for other ranges that don't say the words broad spectrum. So for example, um, this is uh, SPF 50, but it's not broad spectrum. So that is the same protection as this, even though that says 30, because um, this says broad spectrum. It's an important thing to have on sun's care. So this is gonna be quite good. It calls itself brightening, and um, it's really because the Meroxyl, it evens out skin tone, and uh, sometimes people make claims about brightening when they do that. Um, I'm going to, Claire, I'm coming to more affordables. So when you put this on, this is also for, if, you're, if you have spots, it's quite good, but I mean dark age spots. Um, I, I, you know, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna take the other product off my hand so you can see it properly and we can see it go in properly. It's slightly thicker as a cream. It rubs in very easily like that. Um, it leaves, a little bit more of a glow on the skin. The other um, Aven was incredibly mattifying. It smells clinical. It doesn't smell pretty and it doesn't smell too, too chemically. But it is good. I mean, I love CE Ferulic and I have had a skincare regime which has been CE Ferulic and then that. But if, like Claire, you're saying, I love this, but this is um, 41 pounds, what's an alternative? Bloody Helio Care. This I used the whole of um, the last summer. It's an SPF 50. I'm, let me just rub off on my hand the other one. It's an SPF 50 and it has, uh, I buy this, just show you, I buy this on Amazon. I got it 26 pounds on Amazon. Um, <clears throat> it's got green tea extract, it stimulates circulation 
and it's got fern rock, which is rich in polyphenols. Those are the kind of antioxidants that, that help fight free radicals. The sun is a free radical. What is so fantastic? Do they contain oxybenzones? You know what? You've got to look on each one. Um, I think the ones I've chosen generally don't, but you've got to look at the ingredients if it's something that you are um, feeling uncomfortable about taking. I think it depends how much... Um, sun care you use. I think oxobenzone has had a bad rap and if you can avoid it, you can. it's good to avoid it. Um, so I think Heliocare doesn't have any. I think um, Neostrata won't have any. I think that La Roche-Posay, I don't think has any, but check on the ingredients. Um, if my moisturizer contains SPF, should I also apply it? Should I also apply it separately? Yes, probably. Okay, Heliocare, look, this is what I love about this. It says, by the way, that it's for spots and skin, but this, I think, like that, goes like that. And I, when I used this last summer, I put on my, so when I, I was on a boat, so I put on my SPF through my BFF, Trini London, and I put this on top because SPF wasn't enough for the boat. Um, but it goes in like that. I put, I have put tons on, so I've really gone for it. Let's just do my whole arm. Um, and it rubs in, just rubs in, rubs in, rubs in. And it leaves this, it's kind of like a lovely, slightly blurring texture, but I always feel my skin looks very good after I put this on. See, it just, it just has, and also the smell is, is, is addictive. I can't tell you, it's not oranges, it's not vitamin C, it's just summer, but maybe because I've had such good holiday last year and I'm smelling my holiday again, you know, like Ombre Solaire when we were younger or if you go back really far, Hawaiian Tropic in the 80s and you go, oh, it's summer, Bergasol. Do you remember Bergasol? Shit. Um, so that's how I look. I'd say um, if uh, one lady asked me earlier, which is my all time favorite SPF to use? That, 50, doesn't give me spots makes my skin feel smooth. I feel it's not waterproof, but, um, and also this is an SPF 50 broad spectrum. It's like the highest you can get. Um, anything else I can tell you? No, that's about it. Love it. Um, let me just see, Tropic all the way. Sultan BB Cream, SPF 50, five star UVA rating, very good. Um, skin, Skin SkinCeuticals is giving that SPF away when you make a purchase. That's so true, Amanda. I saw that the other day somewhere. So Claire, have a look for that because that would be helpful. Is that the oil-free one? Yes. Um, oh no, it's not. This is not the oil-free one. There is also a totally oil-free one. Thank you. Um, oh, good to know, Amanda. Yes, exactly, I know. Is that for all skin types? Yes, I think it is. Would you put SPF on over BFF? I've been doing the other way around. I, um, I think, yes, actually, you know what? You're right. I've done them this and then the Trini London. Yes, I've done it that way around because when I'm doing my face in the morning before I go in the sun, I, I usually exfoliate. I put on CE Ferulic. I put on the Heliocare and then I end with that and a little lip glow in a colour. And that's my skincare routine. So thank you for reminding me of my correct routine. Um, there we go. So how is working? Explain to me, please. Exfoliate first or clean? Yes. Vitamin C plus serum? Yes. Cream? Sorry, I'm going to see more. Cream moisturizer? Yes. And then SPF? Yes. And then a tinted moisturizer or whatever you're doing? Yes. If you're a simple person of, you know, like simple routine, then clean. If you don't need moisturizer, I would put some vitamin C on. Um, and, uh, SPF and then some color if you want it on top. Do we all feel clear? I mean, I've only just begun to feel clear in this one, but I think now we're clear. It's really important to know the, 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 what you put on. Is it greasy on my face? No, it's not. It's just brilliant. It's, it's so brilliant. Have I tried SunSense Dog 50 with anti-aging? I haven't. Looking for one that doesn't sting the eyes. Bought Ethelios Anti-Shine. It stings. Some of them do. Can't see the bottle. I'm going to put the bottle up again, darling. There. There we go. Okay. You're welcome, Georgina. All right. Um, where was I? Where was I? Ah, oh, this is another one. This is a really interesting one. What other products would you 
what I make from skin skills, the CE Ferulic um, and the HE, which is a hyaluronic accelerator thing. What are the dates you're doing for the pop-up in London? The 30th of May to the 9th of June. So Wednesday till the following Saturday. What's the best SPF for teenagers? Uh, depends if they've got spots, but I think the Helio Care is really good. Lila uses that. This, I'm just gonna go onto this product now because I do love this product. It's a very good product and I haven't got Calm Repair. Oh my God, yes, yeah. This is Julia Hunter. You know my friend Julia Hunter that I love and now I haven't got anything written about it here, which is a real ball. You just have to take, you have to take my word on this one. If you've got skin that's been in shock or you've done a laser or you've done a bit of microneedling or you feel your skin needs some TLC as well as SPF, then go for Julia Hunter Calm and Repair SPF 30. And the reason for that is it contains emu oil, zinc, zinc oxide 13%, um, so it's a zinc oxide, not a chemical formula. I'm trying to see what percentage of the emu oil it has. Um, and it's so bloody small how it's written. But the emu oil is a weird smell like emus. Yes, it is emus. Have a laugh. It's emus. Um, it's less than it used to be. It's incredibly hydrating and nurturing. If you've got really, really, really dry skin, you want calm, you want repair, you want a beautiful skincare product with SPF, then that, I can smell a bit of the emu. That is your baby. And it will, it's very good as, as a daily product. In fact, you know, when I talked about the, um, I talked about the Eye Shield Restorative Balm, that's nearly got the same, the same benefits to it. So I'm just gonna put up the other ones I've used so I don't get all carried away. Um, okay, let's talk about, I never know how to pronounce this. Many of you might buy this in booth. Athelios, Athelios, Athelios. I always feel it's Greek. And I discovered this product in Greece. I used to go with a friend of mine when I was much younger to Greece. And I didn't quite realize that, can I get it there? It's La Roche-Posay, because I kept seeing Athelios. Now, this is SPF 50, and it's a tinted dry touch. So... I'm gonna show you the color tint because the one thing about La Roche-Posay is they don't appreciate people have different skin shades and they don't appreciate anyone has a skin shade above light caramel, please. Anyway, it infuriates me because I think that um, the darker your skin doesn't mean the less you need to wear SPF, okay? It does in a few regards in so much that you have a better melanin protection, but it doesn't in so much that, um, that uh, that you should not be considered on the counter. Um, anyway, this is the tinted one. It only, I think it only comes in one tint. It's also uh, anti-shine and it has in it, let me just see if anything, mineral salt, vitamin E, that's it. Um, but it's got in it, what else is in it? Nothing really, 17 pounds. But it's dry touch, tinted cream. So basically you put it on, the color is, slightly, you, you've got to be feeling already you've got some tan because I, it, to me it's too orange, but on a skin tone that's an olive, it will be beautiful actually, it would work well. But if you've got spots, this is good. This really is good um, because it's very, very dry touch. And if you want a bit of color. It's not bad, the colour. I mean, you know, once it's on, it's fine. Maybe because I've got a dry skin and I'm putting this dry product onto my skin. But I have friends who use it. Sorry, I just want to take it off my skin. I have friends who use it who swear by it and their teenage kids with a few spots swear by it. So it is, it does work. You can also get it all over Europe. So if you're going on holiday in Europe and you run out, it's in nearly every single pharmacy you go to. Um, and... That's kind of why I include it as well. So we can always be stuck. You know, people never actually, I never take enough SPF with me and I'm always having to buy more when I'm on holiday. I don't know how many of you are in that position. And then you kind of compromise your SPF. Hi Trini Perry for the winter sun here in New Zealand, Catherine. Yes, any good options for tinted SPF? That was the one um, I showed. The Boots number no. seven SPF range. I haven't looked at yet how often to reapply. I mean, also the amount to use 
and the reapplication. I'm going to do two more, by the way. This one I do like. I have not used it very often and I've been liking it quite a lot. It's Neo, let me put that up so you can see it. It's very shiny, my bathroom now. It's Neo Strata and they invented, the guy who works there, invented really the glycolic concept of AHAs and they have them in most of their products. So basically it's hydration. It has neoglucosamine, which is a kind of amino sugar, and it helps to reduce the appearance of dark, uh, dark spots. It's quite good for dry and oily skin, but this is very, very good if you're in a hot, humid cl uh, climate because it's a sheer formula. Hang on, let me just rub it, sorry. Let me rub it. Let me rub it there, okay. Oh, hang on. It's so sheer. I, I haven't... And you've got to really rub it. You've got to really shake it because otherwise you just get the oil of it. I want to show you how it's look, okay. All right, are you ready to see Neostrata? Thank you. All right, um, your skin will look brighter, yes. So it's got a very sheer tint like that there. Do you see? And you rub it in. And it's incredible, the formula is incredibly sheer. Um, and the reason it's gonna help you with age spots is because it's got light glycolics in it. It's sort of glycolically exfoliating you as, you, as it's protecting you. The smell is non-existent. It's incredible. I mean, the formula is really sheer, but if I wipe myself on a towel, so you can see it goes on clothing, I'll get a bit of a mark. So be aware of that. But it's great. This I'm going to use this a bit more, actually, this summer. Uh, and it's very targeted. So very good one. Okay, we have got three more now. Um, I've done the um, SPF 30 Brightening Defense. That's fine. I'm sorry, just keep my head on myself. These, Dr. Barbara Sturm, I'm just going to say about this, that it's SPF 50 and you can put it in your existing product. So you, you just put that in. My concern with it is if you just put a drop in, by the time you rub that in with your daily moisturizer, I think you've gone to an SPF 20. So that, that is my concern with that. Some people swear by this, it's molecular cosmetics. It's got lots of science behind it. But that's my thought. Ah, this is. I have had a facialist on and off called Vivian Talisman. And she's an incredibly good facialist. And she used, she introduced me to cosmetics um, about 15 years ago, 10 years ago, maybe. Um, and she does these incredible facials, by the way, which, which kind of, is all that Japanese um, massage work and she does a brilliant green juice. So Vivian Talismat, I'll try and leave her details because she's, she's a genius, but <coughs> she has incredible skin and she has used 10 years Reflect by Cosmetics. Now this is an SPF 30. And I think what's interesting about this one is you spray it on and you reapply and you reapply and you reapply. So she's like this all day long, she'll do that. It feels like a mist, but you can see the more I put it on like that, it dribbles down and rubs in easily. There we go. Sorry, I've got this mask still on. Rubs in easily there. It smells a bit chemical, but it's got in it. Let me just tell you, hang on. Let me just show you. Okay, you want to see the bottle again. All right, hold on. It's very difficult to read. Cosmetics, reflect, can you see it? SPF sunscreen. Now it has something in it, which is called L-superoxide dismutase, dismutase. And this is kind of something that's in the body and it helps reduce wrinkles. I don't know how it does, but it's got l glutha how do I pronounce it? Glu glutathione, glutathione, which is a kind of peptide. How it works the most, and I, I, it's difficult to describe this, is it will reflect back the rays of the sun. That's why it's called Reflect. And I know there's an ingredient in this that does that. Um, you need to reapply it quite a lot through the day. It is a brilliant um, SPF, but it is 50 pounds. Okay, all right. Now, uh, last but not least, I've got La Roche-Posay Pigment Clear, very nice one. This is a daily city moisturizer and it's got things for um, age spots. Then I have Trini London BFF. And this product for me is what I will use every single day, combining a tinted moisturizer, but so sheer with an SPF. And I use it winter, 
and summer and I won't use it if I'm in a kind of 80 degree heat. It's not enough protection, but every day it is. It comes in four colors and what happens is it will turn to the color of your skin and it's got a little um, pearl in it. So it kind of gives a lovely glow. It's good for all skin types and it's got in it porcelain flower extract and porcelain flower has very um, good properties to reduce redness. It's our bestseller. I love this product so much and the smell is profoundly addictive. So those of you who are using that, I suggest you can use it all the time and, and when you're in the bright sun, put on an SPF 50. But this is also, I love using this when, I don't know how many of you think after like four o'clock you come out of the sun, you've had too much sun or if you go, I usually go in the sun actually four to six depending on where I am. But then I might be going out for dinner and still the sun is quite bright and I think that's when we can catch some rays that aren't good for us. So this product is fantastic. And when you're getting up for breakfast, you know, and you think there aren't enough rays, when this is all when you're in a hot country, it's really worth it. Um, Korean bio water assessment SPF. Julia Hunter is mega bucks. I know it is. I know she is. The thing about Julia Hunter, she doesn't really care about the bloody prices. Okay, um, Michelle, um, thank you very much, darling. Is the La Roche Posay mineral? One of them is and one of them isn't. Um, I know, Dawn, everyone baked in the sun. I know, I know. How we can make the best of what? Well, I think for everyone who's watching this, who thinks I've been in the sun for so many years and it's really affected my skin. My skin wasn't great, but I think a continual use of vitamin C every day and a little bit of micro needling, all the things I recommend in my videos will help change the texture of your skin. And, and even though you can do quite strong treatments and on Trini London, I've listed different laser treatments and infrared light treatments and ablative laser treatments. These are all things which will also fundamentally change skin texture. Even people who have done those, if they don't have a really good daily skincare routine, it doesn't matter. You can also be born with incredible genes and wonderful skin that doesn't burn well in the sun and you hardly use anything and there's occasional ladies who just say, I just use soap and water. And I think, you're so lucky. I wish I could just use soap and water, but I can't. And also I enjoy that nurturingness of, of looking after my skin. You know, I woke up this morning and I was a little bit flat. Don't know why, I've just, I think I've got so much I'm trying to do right now. And, you know, making a very, I, I make last minute decisions. So I made a very last minute decision to, um, to, do the, um, to do the shop. And then the whole team at Trini London have been brilliant and really they work so late on Friday and they're working on and off this weekend so that it will happen. And um, I kind of feel very, very happy and lucky that we have such a great team here. But I kind of, I'm also juggling a few other things at the moment and I just thought, um, and, and then I kind of thought, actually, I'll go and do my, I'll go and do what I was meant to do, um, which was to go and do a little um, Sunday morning, lazy Sunday morning with you, with nobody else in the bathroom, being cosy and, and just doing something that I know something about and I feel comfortable to talk about. So I feel better and I'm now ready to get on with my day. I'm gonna get Lila out of bed now. We're gonna go and see my mum. I might go and then have a cup of tea with some friends. So we're gonna have a lovely day. The, we had the most appalling storm in London last night. So I think it's got, um, it's got better. Uh, everything all round has got better. Um, the tint is very dark. Yes, the tint is dark. Um, baked in the sun, I know. Baked in the sun, SPF 15, Belle. You told me about it, thank you, it's great. Tracy, what mask I got on? I've got on, oh, I've got to take it off in a minute. I've got on one of my favorite masks, which is from Biologique Recharge, and it's a moisturizing one, and it has got lost in my bathroom in my, in my um, chatting. Um, can I just say, Danielle, it's never too late to start a regime, so don't worry, and just keep going. We can't see you. Is that true? Really? Okay, preteens. Okay, I need to try your BB. You need to try my BFF. I do use Trini London BFF every day around the eyes and it's perfect for thinking holiday sun. Yes, then put these on. Um, do you put BFF on first before SPF 50 and your vitamin C? I put my vitamin C on as the first thing after I clean my skin. Then I put on a um, serum if I'm using one, a bit of um, in the summer, then I'll just literally put on my SPF, um, the BFF, and then I'll put on a 50 when I'm going in high sun. 
Um, have I ever had a vampire facial? I have. That's what um, other people might call it PRP, which is when they take your platelets. So they take the blood out of your, they take a couple of um, vials of blood, they put your um, blood in a centrifuge and they take the plasma and they put it um, on your face by little um, microneedling. And it just helps really plump up your skin and it puts back in uh, platelets at the top which are the ones that are most healing when you have, if you have a scar, those, um, that plasma is the thing that heals your scar the quickest. So it's, I kind of like it. Um, anyway, just get, sorry. Hi Trini, I have found, this is Naomi, I have found using vitamin C also microneedling really helps. Plus I use retinol, fantastic Karen, um, fantastic Naomi. Um, Karen, I need lovely holiday. I think I do soon. Electrolysis for broken capillaries, easy, better than lasers. That's good to know, Poppy. Um, very good to know. I've got some on my legs, actually. Um, uh, thank you. Um, uh, Erica, don't know how you do everything that you do. No wonder you're being a bit over. Thank you very much, darling. Um, I probably am just tired, Poppy. Yes, be warned, it hurts even more than laser. Um, hello, what vitamin C do you use? I've done, I on Trini London, there's something called Tea Time, which is my blog. And it has on it lots of things. You can list them by Secret 7. And like I've done SPFs today, Secret 7, I've done enzyme masks. I've done exfoliators, cleansing balms, uh, cleansing oils, um, vitamin Cs, um, tinted moisturizers. There's a ton on there and I'm, and I'm putting more on weekly. Um, Amal, where can I buy your BB cream? Uh, thank you very much. Um, um, darling, uh, sorry, Anne, you can buy it online, trinilondon.com, and you just choose your colour by doing match to me, which helps you work out which colours you suit. How often do I micro needle? I use my own little micro needle, and I do it twice a week, and then I micro needle doing a one needle with somebody probably twice a year, but I do find it's really um, good. Um, Homira, please talk through an outfit. Love the silver skirt. Okay, so this skirt is from, I always forget the label actually. Let me just tell you. It's from Mary France Van Damme. And I've had it for about 10 years. It's my kind of, you know when you throw something on Sunday morning, I know it looks a bit, you know, silvery and fab, but it's actually very comfortable. And this is from Kos, and it's a really cute sweatshirt because it cuts open here. And this is a bra from Sweaty Betty. It's a workout bra. Not that I've worked out this morning. Um, Non-SPF dupe for CE Ferulic. I would say the Ordinary Vitamin C 30% with silicone. Great product. And it's eight pounds, Claire, seven pounds. Um, my BFF high five, thank you so much. Claudia, how about SPF powder to use over makeup in order to reapply during the day? That would be my doubt, sorry. How about SPF powder to use over makeup? Okay, Jane Airedale, who does mineral base foundations and makeup, does do an SPF powder. So if you really like to have powdered look during the day and you like a mineral look because you can brush it in well, I cannot do it well. She does do it and um, people swear by it over an SPF. Do I know what to use for capillaries? Andre, I think you mean broken capillaries here. I think there's little laser things that work well on them. Um, but I've got some on my legs and I'm going to go and look at it next week um, because I've got broken capillaries sort of like on my thigh here, quite a few. Um, spider veins actually. I think on your face they're called broken capillaries and on your legs they're called spider veins or varicose veins. But I'll, when I, I'm with the guy, I'll ask him. Will Trini London do a mascara? Yes, I know we will September, I'm afraid. Anyway, ladies, that's it. Hope you enjoyed SBFs. Um, we've done more than the ones I said we'd do. I didn't actually have time to mention Dennis Gross, and I just want to mention that as the last one because this has in it Mela C complex. It's got three different types of vitamin C. So if you want an SPF with vitamin C in it, this is the one, 42 pounds cup beauty. These kind of products are not cheap because they are skincare products as well. Um, I want a very, very sorry, and so, okay. That's it for SPFs and I hope it's helped and any others that you think are great please list below because I love our, our Trini tribe to get to know other people's recommendations. If you have dupes for any of these I'd be really interested to know them. Some of them in themselves are not that expensive. The Ordinary are bringing out SPF and I haven't yet tried it so when I get some 
I will try it and I will tell you how it compares with these. I'll probably do a separate blog on it and, um, and I'll let you know. But I never get sent things, so I have to wait till I can have time to go and buy it. Um, or I occasionally get sent things, but I haven't um, really recently. Okay, I'm going to mention two products I've been using um, this week a lot. I mean, this I've been using so much. Is clinical reparative, um, yeah, hold on, you can't see anything, one second, let me just do this. This is clinical. It's, it's a moisture emulsion, it's kind of a serum really, but it's got in it something that's very good to kind of protect your skin. It's got a 5% hyaluronic acid, not too strong. It's got co uh, copper triptides in it, kind of growth factor things. They help with coll collagen stimulation. Just got a very, very clever formula, which I love. And I've been using this when I'm in a rush. So I'll be in here during work, need to clean my skin again, clean my skin, put this on SPF uh, with my BFF and out I go, three products, it's great. Another thing I wanna mention, cause we use this a lot at Trini London and I forget that I haven't told you on Facebook how much I love it. I've told people on Instagram because I think it's brilliant. And it's Water Drops from Dr. Jard. And Dr. Jard is a Korean brand. You might have seen his, um, his um, masks, but they are just, it's so lightweight and it has a very clever little thing. It's got no parabens, sulfates, whatever, but you put it on like that. I'm gonna show you. So it's a cream. Oh, and it just turns into a water. When you put it on, it just becomes a water, do you see? Um, so there's something actually that breaks down and you can feel there's no oil in this product. So if you've got an oily skin, but you want some kind of hydration, it's just brilliant. It's really brilliant. And even though I have a dry skin, I sometimes put this on, no smell whatsoever, like zero smell. Great, actually. Um, so I love that. Um, anyway, ladies, um, thank you for watching and um we'll catch up soon and next sunday i don't know what i'm doing i can't remember we've got the shop so i might do a live from our shop but for those of you who've just joined now trini london west end is starting it's going to be on wednesday the 30th of may i'm so excited to saturday the 9th of june and you can come there you can just drop in and Shasha and I are there and all our makeup artists are there. Chloe's there doing social media filming. We've got lovely Instagrammable things. It's a lovely um, shop. It's at the end of Duke Street. Just, you can literally see Selfridges outside the shop window. So um, if you're coming up to town or if you live in London, if you want a day out, pop in with some girlfriends. We've got masterclasses you can book online. So you just go on to Trini London and you go and you can book a one-to-one -one appointment or a masterclass or just come and see us anyway. Mwah. So looking forward to meeting some of you. Please, when you come in as well, come and say hello. And, um, and we're going to build this tree with all the people who get a bit of makeover done and put it on. It's called our sort of Be Your Best Tree, positive thinking tree. And then it will be lovely to put names to the faces of all the people who um, I'd speak to on a Sunday. So those you can get down, please get down. Those of you in Australia, I'll be with you in April <laughs> and everywhere else. Um, have a lovely Sunday. Bye.